Let's jump in and do some farming. I can plow, plant, and harvest. And say goodbye to withering crops. We now have push notifications. <laughs> and I, and I want to mention, for those of you who don't regularly farm, that you should. <laughs> Plug. Uh, millions of our Farmville players set their alarm clocks for 2 a.m. in the morning. They bring their laptops to bars and other strange places just so that they won't miss a key harvest. With Farmville on the iPhone, they're going to be able to farm anytime and anywhere. <laughs> but what I'm most excited about is how much cooler tractoring just got. With a simple tap and hold, I can fire up my harvester, quickly select multiple plots for fast and efficient farming. And with another tap and hold, it will automatically select my hot rod tractor. Here we go. Farmville is all about being social. These are my same friends from Facebook. I can visit their farms, fertilize their crops, and send them gifts. And also, you may not know, or so many of you do know, that farming, Farmville is all about gifting. And our players send each other over 200 million gifts every day. It's a lot more than Hallmark sends out. Oh, it looks like Jen has a new gift now. Let's check. I do. I've got a few in my gift box. Looks like one of my iPhone friends just sent me a white apple tree. Thanks, and that's our game. Farmville will be available on an iPhone near you by the end of June in time for the one year anniversary of the original launch of the game. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Mark. All right. Number three, Activision. I'm really happy to welcome the Senior Vice President, Karthik Bala, to tell us about Guitar Hero. Thank you. With over 40 million units sold worldwide, Guitar Hero is a pop culture phenomenon. So our team at Vicarious Visions have spent significant effort and time to develop a brand new Guitar Hero experience exclusively for the iPhone and iPod Touch that lives up to its name. Guitar Hero is about being connected. Connected to your rock star persona, to your friends, and of course to the music. Going backstage, you can customize the look of your rock star any way you want. And you can hop into the photo booth to share that look with your friends. At its core, Guitar Hero is about connecting with your favorite rock music. The game comes with classic rock from Queen and the Rolling Stones, as well as new favorites from Vampire Weekend and Rise Against. We've gotten great feedback and support from our music industry partners, allowing us to deliver rich downloadable content with new music to discover, like this one from the Band of Skulls, one of Jason's favorite new bands. The gameplay riffs off classic Guitar Hero perfectly tuned for your iPhone. Our team of musicians have handcrafted note tracks to deliver an authentic, deeper connection with your music experience. As you can see, we have the obvious tapping mechanics that get you into the rhythm, but we wanted to deliver a richer guitar experience. With the introduction of a new strumming mechanic and use of the multi-touch display, our team has tweaked and polished Guitar Hero to make the gameplay perfect. We have sustain notes that can be whammy to juice up for star power, and slide gems that let you master these tricky ma hammer on and pull off combos. Of course, if you really want to score big and show off, be sure to activate star power.
You can brag about your high scores to your friends or post them on leaderboards or to Facebook. And he scored enough skill points to level up his rock rank. This is just the beginning. I'm proud to say you guys can all start rocking out today. Guitar Hero is available in the App Store for $2.99. Go download it. Thanks. Thank you, Steve. Whoa. You know, he was playing that guitar lead real time right there. It's very cool. So three, three uh, great entertainment apps. And uh, they're going to join the over 225,000 apps on the App Store. And I've got uh, uh, a few great uh, pieces of information to share with you this morning. The first is just last week, we crossed 5 billion downloads on the App Store. Isn't that incredible? 5 billion. But this next thing is my favorite stat of the whole show today. So as you know, when we get revenue from the App Store, 70% of it goes to the developer, right? 70%. So how much have we paid developers? Our 70% that we've paid you, how much have we paid you to date? Just a few days ago, we crossed a billion dollars. A billion dollars. So, and it is one of the greatest things we get to do. So let's go do it again. <laughs> All right. And that's what makes the App Store the most vibrant app community on the planet. Over 5 billion downloads and a really healthy ecosystem, not only for users, but for developers as well. And we're thrilled with it. So that's the App Store. Now, I'd like to talk about the iPhone. Now, there have been a lot of, a lot of statistics floating around, market research, market share studies. And uh, some of them are OK, and some of them are questionable. Uh, and I'd like to just give you uh, two pieces of data that can help you make your own judgments about market share. Uh, the first one is a report that just came out by Nielsen, highly respected firm. And uh, this is for Q1 of 2010. This just came out. And they said, what is the, the smartphone market share in the US? And here's what they reported. RIM number one with 35%. iPhone number two with 28%. Windows Mobile, number three with 19%. Android, number four with 9%, and other tied at 9%. And so what Nielsen said was in Q1 of 2010, the iPhone's market share was over three times that of Android. Let me give you another study. This is US Mobile browser usage, net applications comes out with this. And this is for May. It's the most recent data that they've published. This is mobile browser usage in the US. And you can see iPhone has 58.2% of the entire mobile browser usage in the country. That's over two and a half times as much as number two, which is Android, at just 22.7%. So very recent data. This may help you put things in perspective. So let's get back to iPhone. In 2007, iPhone reinvented what we think of as a phone. It's hard to remember what it was like before iPhone. <laughs> Carriers controlled what was on the phone. There were a few apps, but nothing like we think about apps today. There was no free market for apps. There was no app store. It was really different before the iPhone. And the iPhone started to change all of that in 2007. It was a revolution. In 2008, we added 3G networking and the App Store. In 2009, the 